What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Them Fish Though. I am back at this creek here. It is 9.14 and I was supposed to be out here by 8.30 because that's when the bite time was. So, But it's a good day of fishing, so like good forecast, so maybe I'll still catch a bowfin. That's, that's the goal. If I catch a bowfin today, my next planned fishing trip, which may or may not happen, won't be out here. It'll be all the usual places. But if I don't catch a bowfin today, then it'll be out here again. So you might see this place three times in a row if I get to go fishing next week. Same goal as last time. We're going after a bowfin. Also, if the screen is kind of like... Eh, I tried to clean my um, lens and I forgot that I just sprayed myself with sunscreen. So yeah, I'm dumb. Anyways, let's get fishing. All right, so we out here. Um, I'm just gonna toss the big one in first. Hey buddy, thanks for volunteering. I'm gonna stay at that depth. And we're just gonna... Yeah, that's good. No. Let's see what happens. Leave it there. And of course, we're gonna play with this a little bit. I'm gonna fix the hook though. Anyways, we're gonna jig this on the bottom. Why not? That's very shallow right there. Yeah, today's forecast for fishing is good. Um, it just, I wanted to be out here as early as possible so I could, you know, have a good chance of catching a bowfin. I also have two different worms so we can test, you know, do they like night crawlers more or do they like wrigglers more? First bite time is over and it is showing. So I'm probably gonna stop recording until I get some action, but I'm gonna put a another worm, not a wriggler, because I only brought the earthworms, night crawlers, whatever. I'm gonna put a worm on there and like I don't know, maybe I'll put this over there and that out there. Oh man. I had a fish on my little rod. I didn't set the hook. Um, there's my big cork, okay. Let's put it back. My bobber was just like underwater. I just looked down or looked over and my line was just moving. Let's see if that happens again. I was waiting a good five minutes. I didn't hook him, I know that. It's probably a gar, which hey, that would be a new species too. <clears throat> I just don't have my dad here to help me take a photo. <laughs> yeah, that's not where I wanted it. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to build up that strength again. Oh, there goes my bomber. This might be a turtle. Oh no, that's a fish. Come on, come on, come on. Listen to that drag. Oh, oh god, now it's actually pulling drag. God, I wish Dad was here to record the fight. It's a bowfin! Yes! It's a nice sized bowfin, too. I gotta pull it up by the string. Oh my god, I can't do it. Nope, there it goes. And he's got a bobber to his face. Okay, we're not putting that back in. Maybe I can catch him and get that bobber out? Oh my god, I feel horrible. I want to get that hook out of him. I should not have done that. I should have walked him to the shore. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my god. I should have walked him to the shore. That's okay. Maybe he'll bite again. Maybe. Maybe. But as I was pulling it up, I could hear my dad, because yesterday he told me, don't pull it up by the string because it'll snap. And as I was pulling up, he's, I heard him say that, and I was like, okay, I'm going to stop, and then it snapped. So... Try not to be loud, because like I said, there's a whole neighborhood like that way. Um, and a few houses right over there. So, I'm trying not to disturb the peace. Okay, there's a little path. I might just go ahead and go down there. Maybe, I don't know. Snakes are a problem. I think we're in copperhead season, so. Where's my bobber? There it is. I'm gonna be kicking myself in the butt all day. Unless I catch it. Dude, that was so close to landing in that tree. 
Um, I hooked the bow fin about that big, but it snapped off. But other than that, nothing. Well, I tell you, as hard as it is, yeah. fish deep. Yeah, yeah. Be safe, be careful. Thank you. And have a good day. Thank you, y'all too. Bye-bye. Bye. What? Where's my butter? Oh, there it is. Anyways, I was trying to show you the temperature. Right now it says, it, what? Right now it says 84, feels like 102. I just reapplied my sunscreen, but I think my back is already burnt. I've been trying different depths and, and stuff. I just changed the hook, just in case there is another bow fit in this place. I almost said lake, uh, creek. Oh, snickerdoodles. Can I get around there? No, I cannot. Okay. So I brought one of my uh, small rods back out to fish for maybe some bait. Um, also just to get a fish in this video. I, I don't know if any fish are going to bite, but we'll see. I'm just going to throw on the wriggler on a size 8 hook and see if something down there won't take a little nibble. Yeah. Oh, that shade feels so good. It is hot out here. It is hot in Topeka. But yeah, it's not looking so good. I'm staying out here until the next bite time, which is four. <coughs> First fish of the day, flyer sunfish. It's all right that it's gullet hooked because it is going to be bait gonna go on there cut up into pieces sorry buddy <laughs> hey species number two bluegill that is a pretty bluegill <laughs> I just dropped it down there too too I just dropped it down there too Sorry. <laughs> My hit comes out every now and again. All right. And the great thing about that is catfish or bowfin will go after it. May go after it. Until then, let's have fun catching little baby fishies. I've decided I'm going to take the bobber off because there are good sized catfish out here too, which is also what I'm after. I want either catfish or bowfin. I want a bowfin obviously because I'm trying to add that to my list. I want a catfish because I'm trying to add that to my belly. Warm mouth. And he is gullet hooked. It's a good size one though. Oh, might be pregnant. Um, let's see if I can get it out. No, he's gullet hooked. Okay, we're taking a small warmouth home. Very little bit. There we go. I'm gonna drink some Gatorade and chillax. Oh, it peeled drag, and it gullet hooked itself. So that's another. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Um, no activity on the flyer head though. So that's cool. I might want to post it on Fish Brain. Which, by the way, if you want to follow me on Fish Brain, uh, it's the same username. I'll put a screenshot up of it. All right. Now I'm gonna go put him in the cooler, and then we'll come check on the fish head. And maybe put the bobber back on. Remember to hydromatate. If you're sweating, you want to replace your electrolytes. Let's check this, see if anything's even gone after it. There is a turtle in here. Nothing. Nothing has gone after it. Okay. Right before my GoPro turns on, I had something big pull and drag on this thing. Let's see if it comes back. That could have been a catfish. I could have had, like, you know, warm mouth catfish catch and cook. 
it was bait like my rod was bent over I wasn't recording because I was expecting to catch you know a little fish as usual if it was a big catfish I could have walked it over there because I've learned my lesson after this cast if I don't catch anything I've killed a fish for no reason but well it's not for no reason you know a circle of life I can toss it in there and a the catfish will come by and eat it eventually bobber just bobbed and nothing else okay isn't that like the greatest thing when your bobber bobs and there's nothing it just bobs once and it's like yeah yeah I don't want that oh oh Pulled it right out of its mouth. I think it, the piece is too big. And I don't think my hook is quite the right size either. Man. Gonna come back. Come back for mo. Dude, that got my heart pumping. I mean, my heart's been pumping because it's hot, but it got it pumping more. If it pumps anymore, I might faint. It's at 155 right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a bowfin. Okay, all right. Learn from last time. Oh, this is a little one. No, we're not doing it. Maybe. Yes! Oh no, I go with hook the bowfin. Oh no, I didn't, okay. Look! My first bowfin since I was a kid. No, don't swallow it. Okay, all right. Do they, do, it grunted. Do they grunt? He's farting through his gills. Dude, I caught a bowfin. Okay. Why'd you have to go after this one? There's a bigger hook out there, dude. Oh my God, I think he's dead. Oh God, no, he's not. All right, so that's a new species. My target species at that. Dude, seriously, I'm trying to get a good photo of you. A good 0.55 pounds. There he goes. I watched him. There he goes. I watched him swim down. I don't know if y'all can see, but I saw him. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Might have just gullet hooked another one. A big one. No, don't go that way. I'm not boat flipping this one. Or bridge flipping, whatever. That is a big one. Oh, that is a nice size one. Please, God. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Watch out for snakes. Oh my God, I can't reach it. Crap. Uh, maybe if I shut it down in this bush. A bow fin. Oh. I'm gonna have enough battery. Two point two pounds. And I'm gonna keep the liver on him. Okay, I guess I'm not. Eighteen inches, two point two pounds. I'll subtract this. Wait, hold on. I think this already comes programmed to subtract it. It does, it does. 
sweet. 2.2 pounds. I'm looking for any logs that aren't logs. Okay. Ooh. All right, we're gonna go take a break. I'm not, I'm really not feeling good. So it is the next day, I'm back at home. Unfortunately, I didn't catch any more fish, but hey, I caught the bow fin, so that's not bad. And two pretty nice size ones. The first one was one pound three ounces, and the second one was one pound more. Pretty good size bow fin, really. I got very overheated, um, and that's why I keep telling y'all, like in my videos, you know, in most of them I'm like, hydromatate, hydrate, you know drink water. I don't care if it's winter or summer, drink water. But then I go and get dehydrated, but that's because it was just way too hot of a day yesterday. I was sweating more than I could drink, and I pushed myself way too hard. I recorded for like three more hours after I, after this video ended, after I caught that last bowfin, but I, I didn't catch anything except borderline heat exhaustion or heat stroke. I don't know. I had a headache. I was getting confused. I was dizzy. It was bad. So yeah, just take care of yourselves. Don't do what I did. I'm just a, a fishing addict. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I had fun, despite overheating. I had fun. I caught bowfin. Leave a like and leave a comment letting me know uh, what you thought of this video. What species should I go after next? I'm thinking gar, like alligator. Not, sorry, not alligator gar. Florida gar. I was thinking Florida gar and I said alligator gar. I'm not targeting alligator gar. They are prohibited. So I think in the beginning of this episode, I was talking about going fishing Tuesday, which is in four days for me. Um, I'm not going. It, it's way too hot. My worms died because it's so hot. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not going to go fishing until, you know, the hottest days of summer are over. So it's probably going to be another month before I go fishing. Like I said in the last episode, which if you didn't see that, go back and watch that. It's the first part to hunt and bowfin. No, it doesn't say part one. It's just the previous episode. Um, I am still on hiatus because of summer. Um, I'm also, like I said, job hunting and this and that and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not really able to fish right now. I tried it two days, got overheated. It, it's, no. Nah. Um, as much as I want to go fishing, no. Nah. Anyways, this outro is getting long. Um, I will see you in the next episode, and until next time, guys, God bless and tight lines.